If you don't do this, you're just gonna be like stomping like an elephant and that's not good for the ground, your feet, your knees, or the footage that you're trying to capture. What in the world is going on, people of YouTube? I'm Steven with Purpose Lens Photo and Media and today we're gonna talk about the Sony ZV-E10 once again, yes. But this time, we're gonna talk about the problems that the ZV-E10 has. Yes, it actually does have some problems. As people have pointed out in the comments below, yes, I know it has problems. So let's address those problems and see if we can fix some of them. So we know that the Sony ZV-E10 is a vlogging camera. That's what Sony made it for, but it can be used in other situations. Now, when you're vlogging, it works really well. They designed it really well to do vlogging, but sometimes you may wanna do other things like YouTube videos like this, or you may want to take it to a concert and record. Well, the problem comes in when you take it outside of vlogging because now it's gonna start showing up things that you really didn't think about until you start doing other things. What do I mean? Well, first of all, the first issue is that it's lightweight. I do like the fact that it's small in my hand, it's not heavy. Now you may be saying, well, we want the camera to be lightweight. Yes, you do. But at the same time, if it's too lightweight and you're at a place where you're trying to hold it for a long period of time, like at a concert, it's gonna start get, getting jittery and things like that. It's not because of the camera, but because of you. And it's, when something is really light, it's gonna pick up all of the vibrations and things like that through your body, just because it doesn't have a lot of mass to it. So what's the solution, you may ask? This is the solution. Can you see that? This is a cage from Small Rig. Now, if you haven't seen it, James D. Buzzer did a very good review on it. You can check it up out here. He tells you all about the cage, but what I'm gonna tell you is that it adds a considerable mass to the camera and makes it a little bit heavier, which makes it better and actually stabilizes it. When you throw a lens on here and your microphone, that really helps. You can also get a handle that goes on the side of this and that actually increases your grip too. So this kind of takes care of that problem with the camera being too lightweight. Never thought that would be a problem, did you? But it actually can be. And I think we just solved it. Well, that brings me to the next point, which is stabilization. So when you add weight or you add this cage to the camera, because it has more mass, it's going to be more stable. And you put your lens and your microphone on there again, it's gonna be more stable. But let's go back to that scenario where you're at a concert. Well, if you're at a concert and you're holding it, you're gonna be teetering between it being too light and too heavy. So you need a solution for that. Well, I have a solution. It's this, it's a monopod from Manfrotto. Now, this is a monopod that I use for weddings and things like that. This works very good because it telescopes and it gets short and it can get long and the feet on the bottom here actually pivot. So it's not just gonna just be straight up and down. I can actually lean this thing a little bit and that helps when you're not a person who is like a robot because I'm not a robot. So sometimes I'm gonna move and sometimes you may just wanna tilt the camera just a little bit. Well, this Manfrotto monopod works out very good if you're gonna be standing for long, long periods of time. So I would recommend highly this monopod or one like it. I'm gonna put the link to all of this stuff down in the description below so that you can check it out. But I would highly suggest if you're gonna be using this camera outside of vlogging and you're gonna be standing for a long time, if you're doing weddings, use a monopod. Now that takes me to point two within stabilization, which is you have to know how to walk. I know that sounds weird, but I've heard a lot of people talk about how they got this camera and it's so shaky and they can't control it. Well, there is a learning curve to this camera and you do have to hold it and walk with it a specific way. It's not like your cell phone. So when you learn to do that, it's going to make a tremendous difference in the footage that you get. So I'm gonna demonstrate here how that looks. Now, the key is to use your heel and your toe to smoothly transition from your heel to your toe. If you don't do this, you're just gonna be like stomping like an elephant and that's not good for the ground, your feet, your knees, or the footage that you're trying to capture. So walk softly. Now you may not even realize that you're walking the way you are just because we walk naturally and we don't think about it, but here's something you can do to test to see if you walk softly or not. Take a cup of water like this, 
fill it up to the top. Don't do it in the house. If you spill it on the carpet, it's not my fault. But use water just in case. Fill it up with water right to the top and then walk with it. See if you can walk without spilling the water. If you're spilling the water, your walk can be improved. I guarantee you. Now, you may think, why do I need to learn to walk to use this camera? Precisely, because you need to learn to walk. You, you have to crawl before, okay, whatever. You have to learn to walk with this camera because it will make a huge difference in your footage. When you couple that with adding weight to it and things like that, it can really produce some really solid, smooth footage. So change the way you walk, folks, because it really can help. Now, the last part of this, which falls under its weakness, I know there are more weaknesses, but this one right here is probably one of the biggest ones that I've seen, which is the jello effect, also known as rolling shutter, which is the technical name for it. Now, rolling shutter occurs when you move the camera and the top portion of the picture and the bottom port portion of the picture are not in sync. And it almost looks like it's a wave or a piece of jello. And the reason that this happens is the way that the sensor reads out. It, it reads from top to bottom and it takes time for that to happen. That latency in between there means that when you're panning, certain parts of your picture are not going to be in sync with the bottom. So the top and the bottom are not going to be on the same plane. So the fix for that is twofold. The first one, if you have the ZV-10, is software that you can download. And I've done a video on it right here. It's called Catalyst Browse. Now, not only does Catalyst Browse stabilize your footage, but it also fixes the rolling shutter problem. So two and one, just like that. Now, if you don't want to use Catalyst Browse, or if you have an A6400 or any other camera that has this issue, built right into Adobe Premiere Pro, you have something called rolling shutter repair. Now, what rolling shutter repair will do is repair the rolling shutter. Isn't that great? Now, I believe DaVinci Resolve has some plugins that you can get as well, but I know for sure, and Final Cut, I believe they have plugins as well, but I know for sure that Adobe Premiere Pro has it built in natively. So if you have a problem with rolling shutter, check it out and see if it fixes it. It just may do that. So there's a lot more issues in this ZVE-10 that we could talk about, but I don't believe they're big enough to actually make a video about. Um, but I would suggest that if you guys run into any of these problems, try these things out and see if it helps. There's going to be a lot more to come on this. Hit the like button if you liked this video, if there were things in it that were beneficial to you. If you have more questions, like always, put them down. I'm going to be creating a Facebook group. If you're interested in it, hit the like button as well and leave me a comment below saying I am interested. We're going to have all types of things in there on the ZVE-10, on all different kinds of cameras. So if that is something that you're interested in, please let me know below. But until next time, I'll holla at y'all later. I'm out. Peace. We get on hands if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do. We could just laugh if you wanna. Lay nights on the stars if you wanna. We could just kiss if you wanna. Hey, tell me what you wanna do.